A look at Scripps, transforming medicine and saving lives. All right, you ready, Betty? That's what we love, we love bocce ball. Before I had the operation, there's no way I would have been able to play bocce ball. Oh. <laughs> Lester Tenney is a survivor. The decorated World War II veteran turned to Scripps when he needed a heart valve replacement. You know, 90 years old, with a previous condition of open heart surgery, I was not happy about having them open my chest. Oh, yes! One of the surgeons uh, told me that uh, if I had nothing done, that I most probably would be able to live for another two years. And that did not excite me because I'm, I've got other plans. Oh, I'll try one more. Less is part of the FDA-approved partner clinical trial at Scripps, a less invasive treatment option compared to traditional open-heart surgery. Scripps was amongst the first group of hospitals to be able to offer this really innovative therapy to patients. What's so exciting about it is we're able to actually operate on the heart, replace a heart valve while the heart's still beating, and do it without opening the chest. It's much less invasive, it's much less of an ordeal for patients than traditional heart surgery. Using advanced imaging techniques and only small incisions, the new heart valve is guided and placed through a catheter in an artery in the leg or chest wall. The treatment I had at Scripps was just outstanding. So it wasn't one person. But Dr. Turstein led the, led the team, and he did an outstanding job. <laughs> I got a nice box here, but I want some socks in there. Today, Les is keeping active. With his wife Betty and his friends, he collects donations and sends care packages to the troops in Afghanistan. We send 50 of these boxes every week. It's the old song, you know, I'm back in the saddle again. Another way Scripps is transforming medicine and saving lives.